Hello all, and welcome to the base video for Hearts Here. Finally. <laughs> so first we're going to go over the shit that you're going to need. So, um, you're going to need some sort of orange eyeshadow, a loose or a pressed powder. It either needs to match your skin tone or be translucent. Some sort of makeup sponge, a BB cream, a CC cream, or a light coverage foundation. A concealer that matches your skin tone, a concealer that's slightly lighter than your skin tone, some sort of spoolie, the little pipe cleaner thingy, a smaller brush, a big fluffy brush, and a glue stick. So, the first thing that's going to happen is um, you need to get your hair out of your face. which I should have totally done before I even started this, but we're going to pretend like I already did it. So, um, the first big thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to start rubbing it through your eyebrows. Um, nothing about this has to be clean or uniform. It literally just needs to get all of your hairs really good. Same thing on the other side. And then you are going to take your spoolie and you're going to start brushing your hairs up in the direction of hair growth. So the hairs towards the front should go straight up, so you're going to start pushing them straight up. And then your hairs toward the sides are going to start going diagonally and the hairs at the ends will go out. So it should look something like this. And then you're going to let that dry down pretty good. So we'll come back whenever that's a thing. So. Once you've got it all flattened out, and it's dried down decently, you're going to run your fingers over it to smooth it out. Um, my spoolie did have brown for my eyebrow stuff on it, but we're going to pretend like it didn't. So, but you're just going to run your finger over it and really smooth all of that glue out, and then let it dry down some more. Now that that is pretty dried down, you're going to take your powder and your big fluffy brush, and you're just going to do a light set of powder over the top of it. Doesn't have to be anything too drastic, just a little bit on top, covering everything, and then you'll go under your eyes and over just to make sure that you got it all off your face. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back in with our glue stick and do another layer over the top of it just to make sure that they're down really good. Now my email at birth people and my people who just have thicker eyebrows in general, you might have to repeat this step again after, so you might have to do this entire process three to four times instead of one to two, um, like my people like me with thinner eyebrows are going to. And then you're just going to go back in with your spoolie again and flatten all that shit out. Make sure it's really nice and stuck on there. Because basically this whole process is to make it look like skin instead of looking like you have eyebrows. Okay, now that that's a thing, we're going to let it dry down again and then do powder again. Big thing to remember is don't be light-handed with your glue stick. You want to make sure that these bitches are staying down forever. Um, so just don't be light-handed. Make sure that you're really getting in there and getting all of that glue through there. Touching every single hair. All of those kinds of good things. Um, I'm going ahead and doing another layer just so that I can show y'all. Uh, but normally I wouldn't. I'm just brushing through. And then taking my fingers through it. And then I'm drying it down. And once it's dried down pretty good, I'm taking my fingers back through it and really just molding that shit to my face. <sighs> Brown from before, I swear. Really just molding it down, making sure that it's nice and as flat as it can be. And then I'm going to do my last layer of powder. 
on these bad boys. <sighs> okay, so now that we've got her nice and laid, the next thing that we're going to do is if you use powder, or not powder, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you use primer or moisturizer, this is the time to do it. You're basically just going to put it on and rub it into your skin with your fingertips. And you're just going to do that in all of your places, avoiding your eyebrows. Now that we're all nice and primed, we are going to take our orange eyeshadow and our smaller brush wherever the fuck it went. Hold on. Orange eyeshadow and small brush. And we're going to take that and we're just going to go over the dark spots where you can still see the hairs through the powder. Just going to go in, be pretty liberal with it. Get all of it nice and in there. And basically the, the idea behind this is color correcting so these colors will cancel each other out. And whenever you put your foundation and your concealer over it, it's going to leave it looking like there's no hairs there at all. So then I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to go over it just to get rid of any excess product. And then go back in and really press that shit in. So we'll be back. So now that that's done, we are going to take the concealer that has the same color as our skin tone. And... Put some of that on there. And then we're going to take our cosmetic sponge and just blend that out. Now that we look terrifying, we're going to go in with the light coverage foundation, BB or CC cream, and then just use our fingertips to apply that. Now that that is a thing, we are going to take our slightly lighter um, concealer and we're going to do it under our eyes. On your forehead. Down the tip of your nose and then just on your chin. And then you're going to blend that out using your makeup sponge or a brush, it doesn't matter. So now that that's done, we are going to take our powder and we are going to get some of it on our wet sponge and just go under our eyes and press that shit in. on our forehead, chin, and eyebrows. And when that's done, we're gonna take a brush and just go over it to clean all of it up. And take a little bit more powder and just really set in all of those places that we haven't touched with powder yet. So your cheeks, temples, and the rest of your forehead. And that is our base. So, that's all you need to do it. That was a pretty brief tutorial, but I feel like you can get everything you need from it. If you have any questions, just text me, call me, any of that shit. So,